We are now live! Hi everyone! Happy New Year! And thank you all for gathering for the 17th episode of Free For Full Fights. Uh, actually, I think it's 18th, but you had the graphic wrong. But anyway... <laughs> actually, no. I checked it. It's really This is really the 17th. So, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, most of you know... Well, there are probably some new faces here, but I'll just remind everyone of the rules. So, we're going to be using this shrine for the fights. And only me and Zakira and my co-host Zakira will be spectating. So, the sets will be... The matches in the set will be a best of three matches. So, if you want to volunteer, just uh, type it out in text chat or maybe in Twitch chat so that Aru can, so that Zakira can catch it. Or, and if there's nobody who's willing to volunteer, we're just going to pick people. Alright, so... Yeah. Right, so let's Who wants make, to start? Let's make this uh, let's make this first free for full fights of the year. Good guys. All right. So who's gonna Ooh. start? It's Suji in dimension. Hitsuji. Okay. Hitsuji in dimension. Well, okay. dimensional dream in here. Yeah. All right. Hitsuji in dimension. Go on. Uh, although just to be safe, dimension. You're in player one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it should be it should be given by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like internet providers here still not laying cables all the way out there. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, and then it's like blacklisting's a bitch. I know, right? It's uh, blacklisting. Well, blacklisting is so stupid. Like, yeah, well, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here, but that's a story for another time. Yeah. In any case, let's so focus I, on oh, the match. Yeah, I hope oh. I hope it blows though. Are, are you getting a black screen? I'm get, yeah, I'm happy. Oh, there we go. Okay, the there way. it is. I guess it. I guess it took a while to load. No idea what you're in for. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't uh, commented in a while, so let's see. Yeah. Oh. There you okay, go. Facing here. Demi this First boxing for... Yeah, this is a very slow start so far. And they're all just... This is actually a lot of respect for Mitsuji. <gasps> but he didn't want oh, his usually, head. Usually Paprika really needs to block a lot in this matchup, so it makes sense. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no. Like, Oleander just really has a lot of ways to catch you, like, doing something. Yeah, because he has a lot oh, of yeah. reach. And it's like, she can really use it against a lot of the cast in the game. Ooh, of course, the bully move. Nice push block there to avoid the cross-up. Didn't get anything out of it, though. Ooh, no! Oh, no! That was a that great... Was two, the 2C push block actually pushed uh, Paprika away in so that Carson yeah. would hit. Yeah, that was, the, that was made it such a great push block for Dimensional. It just... A really bad whiff on Hitsuji's end. Yep. Just like didn't uh, Hitsuji didn't really get any uh, clean hits anytime there. Really? Yeah, like honestly, say, like Cart A would be the safer option, but it's not really. But even then, that wouldn't be that safe. Ooh, nice anti air. Yeah, like anything on whiff isn't safe, but at least Cart A would recover fast enough. Anyway, it's Hitsuji's turn. So Max in here. Oh. up backing. Oh no, now he's in the corner. You do not want to be there. Yeah, that's a shame because that would have been a potential mess up, cross up potential. Yeah, but unfortunately, extremely backfired up up in the corner. Wow. PG actually got the short hop there. And, and he the gets the grab. One up grab. There we go. Reset. Ooh, overhead. Nice. Reset again. One more. Oh, blocked it this time. I'm just punching that. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, that's so di dirty! <laughs> I hate those double jump stuff. Yeah, the double jump stuff gets really messy and it's very... This is the kind of the thing about Oleander. The double jump is so good because of like... Just the, abil just the ability to double jump anytime really allows you to control your arcs. Oh no! He oh. dropped it, he could have finished that one with a with like, oh. uh, ground bounce with the super. Anyway, it doesn't he's matter. take the round anyway. Yeah, yep. that was a good... That was a pretty ballsy card B, I must say. Uh, yeah, you usually use card B uh, as Paprika when you when you anticipate that the opponent wants to move forward. As long as they're not holding block, it's pretty good. But otherwise, yeah, it's risky. And the thing oh, is, it's like lag here. Yeah, the thing is, it's like about jumping. It's usually best to just be holding back while you're jumping because it's very easy to do so, and you're not gonna get punished for it. Oh no, there's that there's that six A weirdness that was discussed just a while ago. That's why that's why he's just got thrown out of a 6A. Oh, no whiff punish. Nice. Actually that oh 
Mm. Oh no! That was an okay-ish cross counter, but I don't know. Well, now it's not okay because Oleander got the hit. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. You have to be very careful of where Oleander moves because wherever she is, that's where you have to block. Wow, hard A while Fred is out. Oh, such a brave. Oh! Oh, that smite missed. More here. Is he oh no! In? Again, there is, uh, Didn't oh, catch no. the second jump. Oh. This could kill? No, nah, there's no meter. Well, oh yeah, yeah no, not yet, not yet. Oh no! Oh no! Short up right to do the trap. Oh no, that's uh, uh, yeah, that is that is for sure. Like when uh, it is kind of hard for Paprika really to approach, especially against an Oleander that has magic, because Paprika doesn't really have a reliable way to deal with traps. So, <laughs> and there's also just the ability for Oleander to mix up easily thanks to a, to her double jumps. Especially when she gets yep. very close. Yeah, so like even if you get close to Oleander, it's not really like the uh, best thing. You still have to kind of read it multiple layers. And I believe like Oleander's 5A will actually outrange, not really outrange, but it will absolutely call out like Paprika's 5B. So there's yeah. a there's some disparity of fair normals there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if anything, I think. The only thing Paprika can really do is cart A, which trades at best. Maybe, yeah. Well, cart A is really, but at least with the trade, uh, Paprika will at least get the ground advantage. Oh no! Uh oh no! Got called out with the ground normal. See, this is really well, like one of the things that uh, Paprika like, like Paprika needs better anti airs. It's so like Oleander could just bully with all these double jumps with little risk. Yeah, you have 6A, but 6A tends to work as a better ender due to like what she can do with it. And 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 Paprika usually needs to charge, so she doesn't have access to 6A most of the time. <laughs> yeah, her cards are kind of the better at the air, but it's like it's kind you can kind of challenge them and even avoid them altogether if you know what you're doing. Yep. Okay, now they're trading hits back and forth this this time. Ooh. Oh no, backdash! Wow, backdash is the five B, preventing the preventing the teleport mix up there. Oh no, got wow, hit double with dash! The oh bully! Ah oh, god, epilogue is really that so. Is, epilogue that is, is so actually not up. a bad, uh, not a bad, like turn for Hisuji there because he was able to eliminate epilogue before Oleander got much frame advantage. Yeah, and, and he's he got the low with, and the super yeah, for he's the rewarded kill. with neutral, n winning neutral there. So that is a pretty good first round. Yeah, it was a. It was really helpful that he was able to block it early on. Yep. Because usually, that's usually the best way to deal with epilogue, to just block it as early as possible. But in a way that, but ideally in a way that Oleander can't really take advantage of it. Oh no. I think he's G, uh, uh, like miscalculated the JD there, so didn't get the next reset. Oh, nice cross counter! All right, cross counter oh, to the corner. That's a low. high level move. Another reset for the stand. Oh, oh <laughs> there's the frame <laughs> trap with the pot. Oh wow, call out with the wake up six A. Ah, uh, that, that's a shame he didn't get much out of that because that was a beautiful reset. Yeah, that was. It, it, like, especially since you're standing, it's kind of hard to really uh, get out of that. Oh, you nice cross counter. It. Oh, two C. This is death. He's G really, uh, really taking advantage of the fact that Paprika generates a lot of meter for herself and with all those cross counters. So that is a pretty good, uh, pretty good awareness. Yeah, and to even use it offensively, that's really, that was a really great, those are really great cross counters. Yeah, um, it's actually something that only you can, you'd only see like most high and top level players do, and even in the even at the top level tournaments, you rarely see it. So that's that's de definitely something. Like that really shows that you're you're thinking in the next level for this game. Mm. Let's see here, so it's one one for both of them, right? Yep. So the whoever wins this one wins the set. I got this one. Slow works too. Wonder if they how, how they'll change it up. Like they played a lot, so they keep changing up how they play. But yeah, we'll see. Oh. We'll see. See, both of them backing off, but unfortunately, if both of them back off, it is in Oleander's favor because she gets free reach. Yeah, Hitsushi is gonna have to make, gonna have to really start pushing on the aggressive aggression. But at least into the corner. Oh, blocked the trap just in time. Wow, that JA yeah. recovered oh. fast enough. Nice oh, no. Air. No conversion, though. Oh, oh no. 
I don't think oh, even no. 6 he would have reached that. That was so fair. Honestly, I think he would have... Well, actually, I was about to say jump BC, but even jump BC would kind of lose wow. you. Wow! Oh, yeah, there's jump BC. But that was a great card C. Oh! Why, 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 why anti-air when, when he can just tell us E, right? <laughs> oh! oh wow. Actually caught the recovery of that! That was great! Oh! Oh, wow, reset! Standing reset into card C. Oh, no air grab. That is actually an okay air grab on his side because he did see that uh, Dimensional Dream was blocking up back like a lot. Oh. But that was, that was not a bad call out, actually. Oh. Nice, nice, keeping, keeping, keeping respectful. The di like, DD is doing Ooh, everything finally. he can to keep the distance, but he's having such a hard time finding the, finding the opportunities to study. Yeah, Which honestly, really worked like, out for I, Suji. Round two. Honestly, I think Dream could have pressed a jump, jumping C somewhere in there while all, with all those jump backs, but well, oh, no. I don't know. And anyway, he's, he gets the first hit. There's a reset. Oh, oh no! Very Shut nice. Up. Get another one. Oh no! Nope, just soft knockdown. Oh, he tried. He tried a really hard read. Didn't pay off though. Now he's in the corner. Oh! Wow! That jump A, I, I think, was a bit too early because it completely whiffed. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. No, the great thing about this is, Dream still does not oh. have two meters. Yeah, and this is bad because that was a jumping C. This is gonna be. Oh, cross up. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so delayed A into another 2A. I think this should be it. This should be it. Yeah, this is it. Super. Oh, yeah, that made the easy ender. Oh, oh wow. Just, just. He's just, gonna pop it? Uh, just. Yeah, no, he just wants to. Style. <laughs> he just wants to style it. <laughs> I'm not really styled, but like, you know, delay the thing. <laughs> yeah. Wins. That was that was some, actually some good resets. I would have got hit, got it hit by that. Bunch yeah. of times, actually. <laughs> yeah, re it usually has a really strong he's reset game, if anything. Yeah, he's been he's been he's been refining for like the past eight months. I really hope he's been. <laughs> I really hope it's been paying off. Anyway, so that's gonna be it. Anyway, next match. Who? So who's next? Lost cursor wants to play. Ooh. Uh, is there anyone? I guess. Is there I, anyone what, who wants to play against Lost Cursor? It looked like. Oh yeah, Frost wanted to play apparently. Okay, so can we get this table started? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Lost cursor, do you want to fight destabilized? No, I lost cursor wanted to fight Frost, but then destabilized just kind of like went in. Oh. Okay. Uh. Frost, do you want to fight destabilized or do you want to fight lost cursor? <laughs> I think Frost and Lost Cursor really wanted to fight against each other, so... I don't know, they wanna, like, maybe have the stabilized later instead. Since I believe Lost Cursor actually volunteered before ECG and Dream actually started. Okay, um, sorry to stabilize. Can you step out first? We'll try to look for someone to fight, to fight you. But for now, can we... Let's have a Lost Cursor and Frost. So Lost Cursor, go on to player one. Yeah, I already have Lost Cursor and player one. We'll uh we'll look for someone to to fight you next time. Destabilized, I swear. Yeah, maybe in the like in the next uh the next set. Uh, I I just realized they can probably can't hear me, but <laughs> you know what? I haven't seen Lost Cursor play a lot actually. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him play either. So this will be uh interesting to me. I know. I know they've been they've been in the community around for a while, but they don't like show themselves like in game much. That's mm -hmm. why I guess like their casual rank is just silver six. Yep. But we'll see. We'll see. Wait, who who is logged on into the fauna? Into what? There, there. Someone is using the fauna account in the Twitch chat right now, and I'm not sure who it is. <laughs> is banana watching? Uh, is that the banana cadence or so someone? Oh, I, <laughs> I think it, I think it's. Maybe it's Kaden. I just I see him in mods VC. Lucky you. You he might be. Ready? Oh yeah, it's Kaden. So okay. <laughs> anyway, so oh no, I ooh, black and red velvet and freak. <laughs> Please do not pick this color combination. Oh my god. So far, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's it's still workable. <laughs> I guess depending on your screen, but like oh. 
see here. So Ghost Cars are just throwing all these icicles here. Let's see if Frost. Oh, Frost is actually using the floats now instead of just uh, just dashing everywhere. Now with the JC. Yeah, actually, I'm liking this. Frost is a lot more patient now and calmer, yep. if anything. Oh. Because one of the things I like that's uh, always been good about Frost is she can make some pretty good decisions in neutral, and she ends up in a lot of instances winning neutral. Yeah. And just needs more instances to capitalize on those situations. Oh! Oh, just block it. Okay. Nice. Dash in. Why, why did she grab? Uh, probably miss input anyway. Oh! I nice. just JC so far. <laughs> yeah. And Frost taking advantage of the fact that Lost Cars isn't actually anti airing it, so I guess you could just get away with JC. <laughs> Ooh, Bart. Oh! Oh, oh wow! Look, nope. you know. I'm surprised they didn't cross up. Yeah. Although, if anything, if she dashed again, it would have been an ambiguous cross. It would have been a cross up for sure. Yeah, I really think it would have been a cross up. Oh no! Oh, tried to do some dog mix ups actually. So yeah, I actually studied something interesting here. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, tried oh, to use I, digger. I... With oh, this is bad. This is a bad sign for lost. Oh, you don't want to wake up super. Arizona's the only oh, one who that, can wake up. Combo. Yeah, yeah. I just want to remind everyone, Arizona's the only character in the game who can do wake up super. No one else yeah, is allowed. Like, <laughs> she's the only one with an actual invisible super. Even then, like, it's, it comes with a payoff, but still. I, I feel like some people that actually accident, like, wake up super on accident sometimes. Sometimes when they try to, like, cross count or something, but they end up putting like a quarter circle forward motion yeah i feel like that would also be that also be the case because that does happen to be too oh oh i actually see that frost actually did like one of the more basic uh basic combos like um launcher combo into uh, an abc bark i actually like this oh frost is slowly understanding like what oh. she needs to work on yeah oh yeah, and I like this because nice she's choosing. Oh my god! Yeah, she's choosing when to do the command dash, and she's using more of her air mobility tools. Oh, oh there you go, it. there you go. Okay. Oh, nice! nice. Air oh, oh, now to confirm. Oh no, way, way too slow for that one. Digger's way too far. I'm surprised she didn't go for tails, because considering, like, if you gauge it properly, tails would have been the better dog for the job. But it doesn't matter. She gets the jump PC. I think like Frost still Frost knows that uh, like the crooks of Palm play is dogs, but like uh, she isn't. She hasn't like put it into her muscle memory. Like which dog do I want to call? And just calls whichever dog like comes first in her mind. But still, the fact that she's uh, using it compared to using it now compared to like what Before. like last year, yeah, is it, like make, gives me gives me a lot of hope that this is gonna this is gonna be a good uh, development. Yeah, it's just a matter of like just. Eyeballing when to know which dog to use, because yep. the dog roles tend to be very specific. Like Mama Dog usually tends to work work best in sandwich situations and even corner. While uh, Copter Dog is best in like far mid range to far away play, to far away distances. And then Digger, nah, Bitey is best with like a uh, hard knockdown because that's when you can get the uh, the hard to blockables. No, Bitey is definitely one of the best, like when you're close up, for sure. Since it's like the fastest out of all of the, it's the fastest out of the dogs. Oh no, wake up, wake up, command dash. Oh no, you pay for it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Bitey, oh, tried to go for the mix up, but got stuck, but got hit with yeah. the five C. There we go. Okay, she's not gonna get the hard knockdown, but oh. She, she tried to she, ran, she tried to do like a combo into bark, but missing the two C there. Ooh. I guess I guess it is difficult to coordinate the thumb sometimes where you want to do crouching C while charging. Yeah. Oh. See, she, she that's the fourth time she missed the two C there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like if anything in this situation, if you don't really know your combos, it's best to just go for hard knockdown because then you, at least you can rely on bitey. That's actually kind of what she's trying to do, but like, or at the very least, since because JD is maxed, uh, one thing that, like, the most ba basic palm call is actually just ABC, ABC into like, um, BC, 2C, uh, Bart, which Frost is trying to do there, but kind of not getting the input. 
Oh, look, and look at this. Oh, no, but Fom is already at oh, less than Did you see health. that air dash go over the... Look, go over... Was that Shatter? Yeah, Shatter A. Yeah, for sure. Shatter A doesn't hit anything in the air, so like... Oh, where's, there's a dog here. Oh. Too far, too far. <laughs> oh, he wasn't able to push with the right thing. Oh, nice grab. Wow, what a grab. Oh, just there grab... Here we go, Mikey. Wow, I don't Bye do that. Team. When did you learn that? Yo... <laughs> When did you Whoa. learn that? I do do <laughs> Wow! I so, like this! Yeah, she's been really in the lab. <laughs> wow! She like... Like, if we're being honest though, she did get away with a lot of like, the jump she's not being anti-aired. But the fact that she can still... She's still uh, like, patient enough. Because that round, when she got to Velvet, it was like... She had less than half health. And yeah. then, but when she got in, she made sure she got in. <laughs> Yeah. So that was great. Actually, let me check first. Is the stabilized still in the server? Uh, he's oh god, he's still in, but he's like it's like five hundred ping. I don't know. I don't know if I ping really. Yeah. Uh, the stabilized. Oh yeah, it's five hundred ping with me. Like, I where's don't... this person coming from? I don't know if difficult. I can. I don't know if I can let him. Been... If I can let him play at this point. That sounds like someone from South America. What the heck? <laughs> Like 500 ping. I only get up with South American. Like what? Wow. Anyway, so let's see who. who let's just get someone in here. Tailic wants to fight. Who wants to get in? Actually, Suna, can we have you and Tailic fight? You, the both of you are gonna be in TMS, right? Tomorrow. <laughs> so but let's. Yeah, maybe let's have them fight. Let's see. Uh, let's Suna, have a. Suna, let's have a TMS practice set. If I remember right, like when they tallied the amount of characters, uh, like in the top 32 so far in registered, I think there were like seven gems. So this would be good. Uh, where's Suna? Can someone tag Suna? <laughs> yeah, go. This just says we should have. Like, I, I, it's kind of hard to coordinate, like, fighting. Enough. <laughs> Suna! Bye, <laughs> 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 Even there. C come on, Suna. I binged you in the server. Where are you at, bro? <laughs> like, Tailnik is one of those. I mean, he Tailnik joined like what? When was it? TMS five. But he still got into like top four, so it's like you might as well practice with him. I mean, he uh, like he did he did get like top eight uh, like in all the team. This is actually maybe even top four in all of it. Yeah, he didn't get anything lower than top four. <laughs> 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 when I think about it, <laughs> You're seriously not like if what if? Come on, bro. Like if, you might as well be practicing. Did Suna even reply yet? If if he if he hasn't yet, then maybe we can have someone else for a while. I don't know. All right. Like, did you, you you pinged him already, right? Yeah, I did. Otherwise, if he's not responding right now, Gene and Null, can we? Can you guys please report to the shrine? I want I want you guys to fight. Yeah, I actually kind of want to see this too. Yeah. Gene on player one. Actually, I think both of these are in the same, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, but I think. Wait, this... I think uh, Null, I Null think, I don't think Null... Null's internet isn't really that great, from what I remember. Oh, so. yeah, 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 yeah. So... Oh, I think Null doesn't have, like, voice chat on, so he might not have gotten what to say. Right. Let's see. Wait, Ooh, oh, yeah, it's Zero Null. is the one with the, with, the, some, with the unstable net, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think... Well, we call like, it... Because... It's Null. You, you know, the, ma the algebra shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Dark magic? You a dangerous road. I haven't actually haven't seen uh I haven't I, I haven't seen Gene actually play, play at all. But he's been calling like for games a lot like every night. Yeah. So let's see what's he, gonna be here. As a Tian, his combos still need a lot from what I thought of him last time, his combos still need some work, but he is he actually has a really good neutral as a Tian, if anything. Hmm, I wanna see that. Let's see. More than, more than no clean hits so far. Well not actually doing that trickery where you oh. clean it when you use it. Oh, he's doing... Oh, the, the, the uh, Jubby B drop. 
I saw that. That was that was my combos. <laughs> now it's my turn. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually surprised like he's doing the he's doing the uh, That's more difficult combos already. Let's well, see. we'll see cuz I actually did send him like a uh, my combo files for him to study. Ooh, nice anti air. That's a basic confirm into 6A. Okay, but way too high for that 3C B, yeah. uh, 5B. Oh. Oh. Nice. But again, guys, so for the for the people of people stream there, like if you're if you're not confident with any of the hard combos that you got sent, maybe consider like doing some easier combos just as long as you get the ender. In any case, let's see here. Yeah. Oh no, what a block launcher. Well, one thing you can also do is like you just use like the hard combos to see what you can do and then just uh make your own combos based on your execution. Because that's what I did when I was learning the game. Like if you're actually like if you're actually going to compare like Kalnik, one of the be best channels in the world, actually doesn't it uh, doesn't do much of the hard combos like in neutral. So oh yeah, but his he, he still Tailnik, he, he still wins everything. So. <laughs> Tailnik just has great decision making and it's just very fast. So and, you, yeah. and it allows him to get away with like really even the most basic combos. Cause yeah, his combos as a Tian player are not optimized. But they he he does but. As a result, he do he ne almost never drops them. Yeah. Right, oh! Here we go, the bash combo. How, long, how far can you get this? Oh, drop the jumping A. Oh no! He did it in the wrong starter. Yeah. There we go. Oh no! I think. Uh, oh! I think forgot that he already used the ground bounce there, but that was a weird. Oh combo. no! Jumping C drop. Oh. Oh no! And you know, one that... thing I one thing I kind of want to see more. I want to see I want to see people anti-air more in general. Yeah, our, I, I saw that anti -air uh, game stuff. Gene was actually anti-airing a bit a bit, but like I want to see more anti-airs from Null to be honest. Yeah, our anti-air game in like the fauna in general isn't really that strong from what I've noticed. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That's why I kind of wish like the. <gasps> Or like the Japanese players like stuck around because the Japanese players like any any game anti air all the time. Yeah, so I want I want people to learn that you should always be aware of anti air. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow just that two, was a just... that was a slick 3D if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Just really using a chance mobility and like oh, uh, like oh I'm full screen. Next thing you know I'm in your face. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things with conditioning where it's like when you use air dashing super jump and just flying a lot, it's really nice to catch them off guard with like the firecracker or the flips just, just like that. that. <laughs> I, I think I think Null actually miscoordinated Fred there. I think he accidentally pushed the D buttons a bit too much, so it ended up being a held read yeah, instead of a nice. fan attack. Unfortunately, this is not gonna. Either way, even if the combo didn't drop, that wouldn't have not killed. That wouldn't have killed. So, oh, oh, oh! Oh no! What a double smite! Oh, that's not. Oh, oh no! The just, drop. I never mind. Drop city again. I guess. Oh, that would have killed if it didn't drop. Yeah. One thing I want to keep. I want to. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind as like a Tian player, if you really want to get like the jumping jumping C loop consistently after a bash, you want to do like uh up C. That's how you get the jumping loops the jumping C loop consistently. Up Spe C like after the bash or before the bash? After the bash. After, right? Yeah. yeah after, okay. You cancel and then just up C. Oh right, right, okay. Now I, I'm trying to recall like the the, the short time I actually training mode in some of those combos. I it really depends on how you approach it. But yeah, I, I like sometimes I see people using downright uh, like downright C, but I guess up C also works. Yeah, because it also depends really on what you want out of it and what you want out of your combo. If like you want to go for the jumping C loop straight away, or you just want to drop it first, you just want to go down first and then do the jumping C loop after. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Smite is so fair, man. Look at that. Like, block it twice and it's still, it's still plus. And the thing is, I feel bad because it's like, Gene is, Gene is doing, what's doing decent enough defense so far? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay, just a basic ender. Let's see here. I'm surprised. White delayed. I'm surprised he didn't do like uh, Ash, but I guess he's not confident with like the six A crash, uh, six A crash chain because it's not, it's not normal to cancel into. Oh, for a moment there, Gene actually forgot the rest of the combo. Yeah. He delayed the. Yeah, crash unfortunately. There. Yeah, you. The trick is to always cancel into Crash immediately. And Crash is always the go-to ender, just because it never, it always it always stays at like 180 damage. Oh wow! Like Null didn't punish the block 3D there. Sadly. Yeah, I uh, could have basically won the round there oh. because he got, uh, he got Gene in the corner. One thing you oh, want to be careful. With, yeah, one thing you have to be careful with, like uh, with like teleport, because like, wow. if you've seen, nice if you've ever seen like uh, uh, Tailnik in like TMS once, there's a time where. He would completely avoid. <laughs> nope, should have backdashed there. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. At chip life, you always want to be moving around. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was kind of hard because Gene, uh, like Null, was stuck, stuck on, uh, stuck on magic. So. Yeah. Oh. Oh, both of them are just trying to hit each other. Actually, Ooh! Null is, I, I, I noticed that Null is more like baiting uh, Jin from approaching in, a, in certain angles that he's already covering. Yeah, that's this the thing. Though, he didn't Null has, this one. Because Null is playing Oleander, he has a lot of good reach and angles to take to challenge Jin's whiffs. And definitely like much better defense against Tian. Oh no! Oh, look at this! Okay. Oh! Oh, nice! Oh, wow, 5B! Oh, jumping sync! <gasps> Trump's a combo! Oh, that's so frustrating! I think he wanted Bash ac accidentally did crash instead. Yeah. Right, let's see here, yeah. Oh, no, it dropped there. Anyway, so it plays out. One thing you want to do, if you actually do get the counter hit in air to air situation, is you what? want to let them fall. You want to let the. You want to let your opponent fall down a little bit. Because the hit stun is long enough for you to do whatever you want anyway. It's almost like, melty blood levels of counter hit state in air to air situations. Yeah. Almost. Almost. The good air hit stun in this game is way long. In any case, I think that's 2 0 for now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So is Suna back? Yeah, I think Suna's back. So we, All right. I think we're gonna have Taylor. Hey, soon. Suna! Are you back? You back, bro? <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, fam. You need practice for TMS anyway. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> oh, I hope Suna isn't like that rusty because I believe Suna actually got all of those like TMS points from the earlier TMSs. Oh yeah, he, he definitely... Part he, he hasn't participated in 5 to 8, so I'm not sure if he's still up to date with like the meta on... Uh, with the uh, uh, like international meta compared yeah. to like Asian meta. Yeah, international meta is like a whole nother league, especially with how, with how much older it is as a scene. Yeah, you really have to change your mindset. To like, it really depends on like the players, and well, there's no more, no more punches being pulled. It's the top 32 of uh, TMS. So, right. Anyways, <laughs> let's focus this match first. Ooh, Dude, cra that's a kind of weird like wake up crash. I mean, round start crash. Uh, sometimes it's worth doing it if like the Tia if the Tianwu likes to be in the air. But it's like the thing is, it's a little bit hard to challenge on Tailnick because he's not a he's a lot more patient compared to most Tianwus. God damn. That was the hardest read. Right? I mean, you gotta do that, especially when you're fighting Tame Lake, who's like, who you gotta do that. Like, you have to. The thing about Tail Nick is, you have to learn. You have to really learn how to, like. You have to find a way to be five steps ahead of it. And that's hard. Whoops. Oh, yeah, that is hard because, like, you're not catching the speed on reaction. You gotta, you gotta decide before he does it. Suna has to stop rolling backwards and back into the corner. Yeah, he's cut! Like, oh. if he wants to stay in the corner, just either you delay tech, no tech, or immediate tech. Like, just, but don't. Do not There's no advantage into actually, like, uh, like rolling back into the corner, so be careful about those yeah. guys. Man, it, it really sucks getting caught by, like, that 2D, but in a sense, I don't blame Suna, because Tailnik really finds weird ways to get to cross you up. He's yep. really good Especially at Especially like mid screen. Yeah, yeah mid screen like... is, his, is his zone. Oh no, I think Suna might have been able to confirm that if he landed like the 5B probably after that counter hit JC. Hard knockdown. Oh. Tried it. 
I think Sun actually wanted to do that cross up, but like he did it way too far. Like I think I think people want to start asking Tame, like, okay, dude, how do you do that air dash five a jump A cross up? But I feel so bad anyone trying to ask because it's like English is this English is a second language. Yeah, but like it, it's a setup that I don't even see American chance do. So it's like I'm thinking, uh, okay, it's definitely something that only Tim like knows and other chance really need to work on. Yeah, okay, it's probably hard knock down here. The only one, the only one in the international scene I've seen pull it off close similarly is Derp is Derpinak. Derpinak. Uh, Darmanak. Yeah, Darmanak. Derpinak. Derpinak? I think you mixed Derpinator and Darpinak. Yeah. <laughs> Derpinak. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sending, guys. I'm sending that to the official server. <laughs> Please don't clip. Please don't clip. <laughs> Derpinak. I can't even right now. <laughs> anyway, look, at least at least Suna's right now is getting the level 2. He's gonna kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like in terms of like combo, Suna definitely has one of some, some of the more like optimized and finished as long as he doesn't drop it. Yeah, compared so, to the two, like, Suna deals more damage in his combos. Oh, for sure. I actually, even in among the chance that I've seen, Suna is one of those that really like likes to end with everything, uh, everything he can use. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh God, go. that is that is so messed up. Like. It's a rare mix-up you, know, you see, but it's like... The thing about um, jumping A... What makes jumping A so dangerous is like... Even if you don't get a counter hit off of it... It's so quick that it's easy to get a reset off of it. Yep. Actually, it's really difficult to combo, but... The fact that it has so low block and hit stun... You, you, you usually get a frame trap out of it, so... Like, when I see, at least from my experience with Tim, like, if he's using JA on you, he's trying to get you to press something. Yeah. He's not exactly trying to combo into it, but that's a nice bonus, but mostly it's because he wants to. He wants you to press something and then reset your JD on your, by your, on your own. Yeah, I but do that too. for that, guys. Yeah, I do that too with, like, Jumpy A. It's like, I just catch people off guard. I like to catch people off guard with it. Regardless if it's a reset or a frame trap. And it's so hard to push block. It's also but, like you absolutely need to because a Chan gets an extra layer of pressure if you don't. It's hard to mash because it actually also requires a presence of mind, considering what Tian, considering the other things that Tiano can do. So yep, actually, if you do, if you do that, if you do the other things first, basically you get rid of the jumping A in the metal me stack. Really? For sure. Fight. Okay, let's see here. Wow, like, that's the second time Suno uh, round start crap. I'm not sure what he's doing here. <laughs> he's really oh, trying. I think he's probably hard reading, like, an air dash, probably, from Taylor. Yeah, he's reading that, but it's like, that, you, at this point, that's not. Nice, that's, that's a, a much better thing. read. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's you, 6A. That you, catch a, you catch a lot of Tians with that, but the thing is, Tailnik is on another level compared to any Tian around. Uh, because like Tainlink is one of, again one of those like similar to Bubble Boost like he really not only is he good with his character he's also really good at understanding what you want to do. Yeah. That's why it so sometimes feels like you can never catch him. That's yeah. because he's always he's always already one step ahead of you. So you gotta mask your intentions when playing against this person. <laughs> he's also really good at just reading and downloading you. Pretty much. Oh, that was a good. That was a good call out. That's actually that's one of the strengths of uh, Tian compared like to other characters is that even with uh, even with the six A's from the opponent, Tian has a lot of ways to bait it out, and six A's on whiff, regardless of which character, has a lot of recovery. Yeah, it's like there are many ways to control wow. how you get. Oh. I actually like this. Suna making the most of his level two. Too close. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was actually a good call to just, just move around. Just let his magic meter build up. Pretty much. Unfortunately, I also kind of want to see more people. I I don't know. Like I correct me if I'm wrong, but like in level two, you can do instant overheads with uh, with just jump forward, jump A, right? Jump forward, jump A. I think so. Well, the thing is, it's like you basically move faster. Yeah. Like, oh no, push block that would have been a punish anyway, but honestly, uh, chance firecrackers even a block are really hard to punish, which is really annoying. 
Yeah, cause you're- Okay, let's- The thing is, you don't see them come- You don't see them coming due to like- Just being minus on nature. So the first- Mid-level Tians are not gonna do firecrackers. Rarely. Cause it's, it's not, not safe! Even... Ooh! That no. doesn't- Wow! Oh no! No, no, no! One more! Ah, oh, this is make- you know that oh, wait. Oh, oh no! no! This is gonna no! be- This is death! This is death! No, no, no! You had like five seconds! All you needed to do to block! Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Oh! oh he barely god. makes wow. it! He barely Yo, he makes it! Not oh make my it. god! He barely I think, I think makes Taylor it! Taylor should have used Crash earlier, I think. I know, wow. Jesus really Christ! Wow. My heart! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Tainlik should have either, yeah, have crashed earlier or supered earlier. No more gains. Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're getting here. Now they're they're playing really slowly, trying to um, noticing that both of them are actually able to catch each other's air approaches. Oh man, Tainlik just blocked that cross up from from full screen. Oh, but wow. it's frame trap though. No, crash Ender probably. Oh, just hard knockdown. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he doesn't have the meter to go to level 2. Oh! See, another thing I've also noticed that um, I only see from Tame Lake is that it's, uh, like meaty 2Bs. I'm not sure why people don't really use it, but... I think it's because of the tech roll. You usually don't think that the meaty 2B would work because of the tech roll, since most Yans tend to max damage. Tend to max up their damage. Or at least after like uh, after like a knockdown, like that, like after a super. Yeah, that uh, like hard knockdowns would be a good situation. Otherwise, in tech rolls, you're not gonna. It's really you have to read well. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah no! I think it. Oh no! If I think if Suna had like the awareness, like if he did like five C to six, maybe he could have picked up. I'm not sure. Yeah. But he he picked up. He hit that air to air JC like three times. Yeah. But oh, I man. think yeah. I feel bad for I feel bad for Suna in this one because he almost had it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you not, know, not a bad performance though. Yeah. If you don't mind, first I am going to be using the bathroom real quick because I need to pee. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll we'll be right back, guys. So don't go away. Uh, we'll be back real quick. Quick time check. It's around. Yeah, we still we can still have like maybe one or two more sets, I believe, before we go to the salt mines. All right, and I am back. Okay, so I think uh, Lucas and Rio want to fight. Okay. Uh. All right, I'm ready. Uh, Rio, you can set. Zoo Twill, please don't do this. Like, I'm actually confused, like, who volunteered, but yeah, like, we and, we and Lucas were we just volunteered right after our Sue Nine Tails match, so. Uh, Alright. We can have to uh, Twill later when he has someone um, to fight. Yeah. Wait, it's someone's street. Ah, uh, someone's spectator. <laughs> so, who's... Zookeeper. <laughs> zoo. Uh, I don't think I, I'm like a uh, zookeeper. I, zoo, this is not zookeeper's first um, free for fold, right? Yeah. Also, I already mentioned the rules earlier. It's like I know it's been like forty minutes, but it's like man, thumb. <laughs> I haven't seen Lucas play a lot, like uh, TFA later. So we'll see what what happens here. Yeah. If oh, nice jumping wow, C from Lucas. Cross up there. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I also have some lag. Here. I'm, not sure. I'm having yeah, some I, I'm, lag on my end. I'm having some lag too. I'm not sure what, like on, on whose side this is. I think I have a feeling that it's Lucas, because like 
Uh, if I remember right, Rhea is also on Converse like you, so if... Yeah, Rhea's, Rhea's connection is usually fine for the most part. Yeah, Lucas like is also good, but sometimes there were, there were some times where his connection would just not be stable. But there, there were a few times, but there, there were still times. Yeah, also, if I remember right, he's on a lo old laptop, which doesn't handle it we as well. Doesn't handle TFH as well as compared to Skullgirls. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, like, I believe TFH is a bit more resource intensive. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I'm glad that they at least updated the spec requirements of the game. I yeah. think. <laughs> what? <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just, 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 like, hard knockdown, teleport C. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Lucas being aware that the air to air gives him more damage. Oh, drops it, though. Uh, block. I think uh, I Lucas absolutely guarded that one. Yeah. Let's see what adjustments Ria can make. Oh. oh, Lucas just holding back. Yeah. Literally. Oh no. Oh wow! Just just double jump back, teleport. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Oh, but no he punish. He got no punish. That's so frustrating. I don't think I don't think five C actually punishes uh, teleport C, but I could it, be wrong. It kind like, of can, oh, but oh. technically it can. But the timing is really strict. It's like, yep, one frame. Do not mess it up. I think all these five C is also like a bit slow, so it's not really reliable. I just use five B in that scenario, to be honest. Yeah, I mean five B in general is a go-to because it's like it's easier to punish with. Yep, and it and still doesn't give you bad damage. Like if you optimize your combo. The, oh, there's like less than 100 damage oh! between the C combo and the B combo. Anyway, so that was a good uh, overhead. I like this. Wow. I actually like uh, Rhea not just teching because it's like it does reduce the damage she can uh, he can take or he can receive. Yep. Oh. Oh no. Rhea also has to stop Cartsy. I think he's making it a bit obvious with all uh, his shuffles earlier. Yeah. Well, okay, Fred punch kill. Okay, <laughs> that's the first I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Cart A is usually your go to for block strings because aside, it's not as safe, but it does lead to frame traps. Yeah, like it, it gives you more pressure, actually, and it's basically how you reset pressure as Pap, like with a Cart A. And then from Cart A, you do get. It is a bit of a risk to try and go for an for an option there, but at least it's safe if you like feel that oh the opponent's gonna mash then you can at least block out of card A. Uh, what happened? Uh, uh Lucas, Lucas you? Uh, okay. Uh, I I think Lucas accidentally pressed the. Yeah. Oof. I'm looking. I'm looking at like uh, what's this Enrico in the Discord chat. I feel bad that he has, he has classes in the on a Saturday of all things. But oh, yeah, well, if, um, when you're in that, uh, when you're in college, sometimes yeah, you really got to do that. Anyway, so let's do the match. Far. Yeah, good start, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Wake up, teleport C. Oh wow, backdash the card C. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty bold whiff punish. Oh. Try to catch it. Try to catch Lucas blocking. So that was not actually a bad teleport B. Oh. Never mind, oh. that one was. <laughs> yeah, it's some decent damage out of this. Oh. Oh! Called out the teleport again. Oh, I frame like trap. actually blocking. Frame yeah. trap by a frame trap by the trap. I guess that's why they call it the trap. A frame oh. trap. <laughs> Getting some decent damage right. with the two way. I actually like this. Ria, Ria's combo is actually pretty good. Yeah, he's definitely improving in terms of like combos. Oh god, this. Oh is... no, bully! Oh, this is so bad. That's so evil, man. Yeah, oh, jeez. Wow, that's you so hate... evil. You hate to see it. Fair, fair. You hate to see it. Completely fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, try oh, wow, to call out with a super jump. Unfortunately, like for Oleander, from what I remember is that when from Oleander players is that if you use 6A as an anti-air, you might want to do just jump cancel to combo it because 6A hits way too high. Yeah, so 5C won't really give you anything. Yeah, 6A has some awkward angles. 
Not the. It's so fair. Oh my god! <laughs> did you wait? What did Oleander eat? Did did, you, did I see that right? Oleander wound up eating. I did not see. I, I need to check that later. Oh no! Oh, no. Teleport. That was actually a bad teleport C because Lucas was definitely uh, like ready for it, just blocking and jumping. Yeah. I think in that scenario, you that you, you could have like as per pregame, you probably should have just dashed forward and then block. I mean, yeah, you never want to teleport, but if you see someone jumping back, because it's like jumping back leads to so many options. Like it, what? It blocks teleport C. It completely avoids teleport B. Teleport A. I mean, it's just whatever. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Super! Oh no! Super from Lucas just epilogue. Okay. That would have killed if he did super. Oh, oh wow! Oh. Just raw teleport to call the call the the gift throwing. Call all those gift gift throwing out. <laughs> what is this? The first match or the second match? I think that's the second match already. Actually. Yeah, oh yeah. Two, zero. This, yeah. Oh man, that was. Oof, I feel bad for you. It, but Rhea has been improving with like good combos. Yeah, that, 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 those combos were pretty good. Just need some more options in neutral. So I think we can have one more set. There's 10 minutes left before okay. like, the end of the R. So let me actually see this. I guess. Well, I haven't fought yet. There's a, actually, there's a lot of people who haven't fought yet. Yeah, I don't see Twill around anymore. I, yeah. I think. I want Jive to play, to be honest. Yeah, actually, Jive has improved a lot. Uh. I want Jive and who, who wants to fight Jive? Can you call someone? Who wants to play against Jive? Uh, you kind of want to see Jive. I, I want to see Jive. Ooh. Does Kay want to fight Jive? <laughs> Cadence? Do you, Jive, do you want to fight Cadence? The stabilized has, is... I'm not... I'm sorry about the same connection. The, my problem with Destabilized is his connection is not really good. Especially compared to us. Uh, the ping is... His ping is not really good with ours. Unless someone has good ping with him, I, my ping isn't good with Destabilized, I'm sorry. Like, it'll be impossible to spectate a match with Destabilized in Yo it unless, like... Honestly, the only one I can... Oh! Wait, J wait Jive, uh, let me just ask Jive, what's your... What's your ping with Destabilized? Hey Jive, what's your ping with Destabilized? <laughs> That's not no, good! I don't th Do you That's really not good! Want That's not good under any circumstance. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I I don't think the only because the only one who could the only one who's potentially playable with uh destabilize is Sky. Because Sky's probably the, yeah. Sky is the only okay, one who's so, from like Russia. Okay, so if we're not like the only people who haven't fought yet is Jive, Jackson, and Caden. So whoever whoever on those three might want to play. Uh, Jive, do you want to fight uh Cadence? Either Cadence or Jackson, uh, to be honest. Yeah, he's from Br he's a Latin American. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah. I'm sorry, the unfortunately, that's almost impossible to play in Asia. Yeah, I'm sorry, the stabilize at this rate. You're the only people who can really play with you are like um those in the West, especially particularly Oscar. Oscar, Arcanel, and okay, Darmanac. So, anyway, so yeah, I like cool. Let's have one more match, guys. Uh, I want to. I actually want to see Cadence and Jive. Can you report to the shrine? I want to see you guys fight. Let's see. Is K okay with it? I, I, Cadence, you want to fight Jive? I think he's, yeah, Jive. Can can Jive go? Uh, is he still in here? Jive, do you want to fight Cadence? All right, we are good to right, go. Go, go, go. Okay, guys, you guys can go. Cadence and Jive, go fight. No, it's just the two of us. Okay, no, I accidentally, one of my one of my messenger apps uh blared through the speakers, so <laughs> I forgot to mute it. Yeah, thankfully I have voice meter for that. And it's kind of why I like OBS because I can use. It's much easier to integrate voice meter with it. Oh, yeah, like no, no, like I, I my mic is fine, but like since it goes through like the speaker, like the speaker track, yeah. 
Oh. Just well, being careful in here. Oh. Oh. Oh, just try to cart me. Oh no, just uh, getting getting hit by the five. Oh no, now in the court here. Yeah, I really like this patience for Jive. And That's the thing really is, when you do as Leander. Oh. Oh. Oh, what a teleport mix up. Man, this is really such clean play from Jive. Just being able to switch from offensive to defensive play. Oh. Yep. Oh no, Cadence did not confirm that jumping B. Oh, but gets the frame trap in the 2A though after a shirt. Yeah, this is gonna be some decent damage out of this. Yup, this right, is a lot of damage. Level one. Right, knock What's down. your Let's mix? See what you got. Oh, you tried to oh, go for the grub. To... Oh, frame trap. Uh, this is definitely. Giant needs a level great. one here. That's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it is. Just enough. And and here's another bad thing about the Paprika Oleander matchup. Like, if you finish your combos as Paprika, you're giving Oleander a lot of meter. <laughs> yeah. And Oleander is one of the best, uh, one of the best characters to use meter in this game. So. Oh, oh he wanted to six C. Oh, he did not see the teleport coming. Oh, oh nice card. Oh, no jump cancel. Oh. Oh man. That card C though. There we go. That's the right combo. He accidentally let go. Oh, epilogue, the bully move. Okay. Nice yeah. A to B. Fortunately, Cadence actually jumped into it immediately, so he didn't have to deal with it for long. Yeah, that's a great thing. The sooner you get rid of that, the better. <laughs> nice low reset. Wow. Yep. All right, super into hard knockdown here. What's your mix? What oh, he tried, tried to, to air grab, but short hop way too low compared to a Jive's uh, forward jump. Oh, what? Yo, I'm nice sure call that though. JC should have hit, but let's see. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, no. Was that a low profile? This 2A oh, yeah. of low profile? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> well, in any case, I think Jive just did JC a bit late. Although, if, if Jive did JB instead, I would have definitely hit. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Jive likes to do it. This. this is something that I've noticed sometimes with Jive. He likes to do it sometimes because it's like it's stupid Ground enough beam? that it's stupid enough that you wouldn't think that anyone would do it. Right? That yeah. anyone would actually pull it off. And oh no! See, this Jive have Fred combos. Oh no! This is the wrong one. Oh! Nice. Wow, that's still comboed. Fair. Oh! Oh, call out with this fight. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Frame trap with Fred. Oh, that's a fuzzy guard. Ooh. Oh, oh he doesn't. Yet, yeah, no. he doesn't have oh, meter to some. kill. Oh, now, now he, he has. Oh, he could have oh. used it, though. Doesn't matter. He could have used doesn't it on matter. the wall bounce earlier. Finally. Does not matter. Like, like, Oleander, Oleander steals so much meter, man. It's ridiculous. Right? It is 1-0 on Jive's side, that's you. It's actually, like, like kind of funny, I, I I was actually surprised that Paprika was able to teleport out before, like, the super. Right? Hit. Because, from what I know, is that when Paprika teleports, like, her hitbox, her hurtbox doesn't disappear. It just goes really fast, so, with it something like an instant good. beam super, it, it could have hit. So I was really surprised that uh, Paprika still ended up on the other side. It must have been beforehand. He was, I think, because I think uh, usually super is best to catch backdashes. Uh, probably. Round one. Fight. Let's see here. Oh. Oh no. He tried to. Kata tried to catch something with a five C, but got nothing out of it. Oh, nice. That's two magic. Oh, oh, and just... Oh, wow. Just fun to teleport with another teleport. Oh, oh no. You tried to cart me to approach. No. Oh. All right. Just an easy confirm. Spending a magic. Get one magic back, I guess. Yeah, oh, that's two, we... actually. Oh, just one. Here you go. Wow, Jai's yeah. patience is pretty good right now. Yeah, it, the thing is, he doesn't need to rush it. Because he's he has such a huge life lead. Yeah, Kaden's oh, has. Yeah, 
Sorry, go on. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah there's really good at uh oh, yeah, really good at like keeping the advantage to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but let's see. Kaden's gonna get something here. Maybe use a meter? He needs to, yeah. Oh, nope. drops the cart A. He probably tried oh, to, wow. but because of the feet. drop. He probably tried to go for the cart A, but because of the drop, he didn't get anything out of it. You the frame trap here. I think? Yeah, this is super. Hard knock. Maybe one mix-up? I don't know. Maybe one mix-up could do it. Oh! Oh, but no full confirm out of that, though. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, JB, like... Oh, Oleander's JB is so good. That is so frustrating because Cadence did so much to uh, regain the- to try to yeah. take the lead. But unfortunately couldn't close it out. Nice to see though. Cadence scream in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys super here for the hard knockdown ender. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you give Oleander meter, she has three anyway. Oh, nice call on the guard. Most likely, if you, in most low situations, most likely, You'd probably be catching someone trying to jump, but because of like the four frames of free jump, it's easy to just uh, punish chicken guards. Wow. Oh. No, Cadence needs to learn like how to do those like jump the JD Max combos later. But well, let's see here. Get it perfect in response. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Actually, like Jive is actually like blocking pretty well, but I noticed he's still having some problems like transitioning from block into attack. Like so far, especially like without magic. Yeah, oh, what? Just round start teleport C, okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, what a 2B that, call out. That was a, those are interesting meaties with the jumping A's. <laughs> wow. Oh Cadence has gotten like the correct uh correct thing to do after cart A three times in a row. That was good. Oh no! Oh you did no, not wow, that was the meatiest JB. Oh, oh three. Oh no! Ah, oh, drops the combo. Oh! Oh wow, the 2A actually, I think, low profile that I, jump B from hitting. I don't think Jive was expecting the side switch. Is it a level 2 here? Nope, no. just hard knockdown. One What's more mix. mix! Oh no! Like, Cadence needs to, needs to early. Oh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yo, Cart B! To anti-air the teleport, that was amazing. <laughs> that caught me wow. off guard. Oh my god, I'm still registering I'm, that in my head. That that caught me off guard too. Like what? That is so weird. <clears throat> one more match. B, that was a cart B. That is a cart B, not a cart A. Yeah, one more match, and whoever wins this one wins the set. And then I will get. I'll go on a quick bathroom break and we will go up, proceed to the salt mines. Yeah, for so for anyone watching, like we're gonna go salt mines after that. So if you guys wanna park on the park in front of the door, then maybe you can go do so. And I hope that you that the guys who are fighting right now, you're also watching this stream somehow. Uh finish your match as soon as possible. That way you guys can get into like the salt mines. Round one. You know your alphabets. <laughs> Sorry. I give you weird comments in the Twitch chat. Anyway, oh, another cart B from the cross up. That f I feel like Cadence was actually trying to teleport B, but because of uh, yeah, because teleport being first, it turns into a cart B. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, that's way too late. Like, that's the thing about uh, pop moves. They're double edged swords, because you have to really, you really have to have, to have the presence of mind in order to exploit them. Okay, okay, this is one mix up here. Let's see. Oh! Right, you get oh. a cross up. Oh, blocking. nice oh. mash! Nice mash! Nice, okay, good. That's it. That's like the oh. magic combo, but you only did get one read. Oh! Cart, oh. jump, I, teleport, see? You know, just do it! I want to actually ask Cadence how he got, how he was able to charge Telesi while blocking all of that. Uh. Well, no! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, the card B. Yeah, card B yeah. is a pretty negative. Yeah, that was a really bad card B. Take one magic for Jive here. Ooh. Oh! Oh! What, that, what I, an improvised combo from Cadence! Just all of those A's. Yeah. Oh, what? You you can tell he wasn't expecting that. Otherwise, he would have gone with card B in most situations. Yeah. Uh. There we go. All right, level one for the hard knockdown. What is your mix? Uh. Oh! Just teleport C. Right? 
Oh no! Oh. Now in the corner, Jive has a really good chance here. Fred, oh, Fred now. Yeah. Oh, dropped it. Oh, didn't didn't decide to combo actually. I'm not sure if Jive knows that you can combo much more after that. I think he does, but he dropped it. I just have a feeling. Maybe, yeah, because he did do read. Oh. You have one meter, Jive. I think you should. There we go. It. Yep. There you go. Like, don't don't skimp on your resources, guys. If it's to take a round, especially if you have like only one chance left to use it. Chip in and cash out, basically. Right. Much. Oh, what? Oh, nice call out on the match. Why do I feel like Cadence actually tried to uh, six A there and but just didn't get the right side? Yeah. He did like do some weird five A's. Oh, oh wow, doing a low but no confirm. Ooh, oh, oh, frame trapped trap. again. But maybe, maybe Oyander's book is called The Frame. Uh. 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 Oh no, it's Telsey! So Cadence charges these Telsey's really fast. Yeah, he's actually. Yeah, I wonder how he. Really, how he does it. Oh no, oh, drop! No. Yeah, I think I think he put an extra. Oh no, that's gonna be a punish. Yeah, that's an easy punish. Yeah, that's bad. That is so bad. Is it over? No, I mean, not over yet. Oh, but the, but a spark will hit it. Oh no, yeah, that's over. Cadence had to take the risk. Either he had to cart me to, uh, un to go under it or tell us he, Because he couldn't afford to take more pro projectiles, to be honest. Anyway, with that, we will be heading off to the salt mines. But first, all right. I will be taking a bathroom break, quick. All right, guys. So, all right, all right. So, let me just. All right. All right, salt mines time. Don't open the gates yet, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna use Ari this time. Oh, open the... It's open. Why is it open? Oh, uh, um, um, okay. This is awkward. This is really awkward. Wait, how long is it then? Oh, it's it's almost newly opened. Uh, yeah, it's someone else. Ah, uh, someone, someone else that isn't part of the community opened the oh opened no the mines. So, but it's like I, I don't know what to do here. We, sh we should wait. No, it's, it's still f around. Okay, 15, I've, I just got back. I just got back, guys. I got back. We can rush. We, we, get okay, it, get yeah, it, get let's, it. Uh, let's just rush in. Guys, let's go. Let's just rush in, guys. Guys, yeah, let's still go. thirteen minutes left. Oh, whoever's in here is really slow. Is this, <laughs> is this the stabilized or? No, it's someone else. Oh, that was quick. Are we level two yet? Fine. Dude, well, we're kind of behind, so we gotta. Yeah, we gotta rush. We gotta rush. We gotta go fast. Good jump. There you go. At least we're we're getting really fast here. Let's see. There you go. How 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 is this running? How's this room running out of predators? Man, you're. Why are you a summoner? Uh, 
going. Alright, jump. A lot of predators here in this room, so that's good. There you go. And get it done. Fighting predators, so. No, I can... Okay, like it's good because it's still level 3, but when it's level 8, no, I don't want that many predators. The, the, the Paprika AI really likes to teleport C, so you can just... You can just wait and block high. <laughs> oh, that's the second summon I have to deal with in a row. Three, are you kidding me? Impressive. Oh, so the record for the fastest predator kills here. Counter hits. Oh, level 5. Okay, we're not doing half bad actually. Jump on reaction, okay. Cross up, snake cross ups. Oh. did it. All right, jump. I 
for this chest. Kind of the want to go. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's an encounter chest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone open it! Oh, there's an item. Dream, open it, holy crap. Alright, two more, and we will be level seven. <laughs> Took my 800 chest when I was fighting a predator. <laughs> Wait, it's level 7, right? Yep. Damn it. I walked into a room full of summoners. Wow, okay. <laughs> and it's level 7 too, so good luck with that. A really? Oh, there's summoner at the door. No. Predator should not spawn at the door. This is so annoying. Yeah, they need. I hope they update that. <laughs> I hope they do fix that. <laughs> That's so dumb. Like we're playing them fighting herds, not Call of Duty. Amping at its finest. You guys can have that, I don't want that 200. Nope, bear. Are you serious? The bear dodged my arm. No, stay away from me. God, stupid, stupid shadow. Need dynamites. So much treasure chests here. Oh, what? Did it? Did the? Did the predator Tiano just? Really? Wake up, 3D. Wait, really? Wow. I guess, I guess, I guess, like, the AI is just team, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm getting so much mileage out of my dynamites lately. Amazing. Oh, 400 chests. Jackson, don't fight me for this. Thank you. Alright, because there's no more time. <laughs> Shit. 
Wow, so many predators here. What the heck? I mean, summoners. Oh no, I misaimed it. Ah, shit. Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I need health. Ay! Shit. Shit. the door. Shit. Shit. No! Let me up! No! You dead? Not yet. Oh no, no! Health here. Uh, are you in fight? Yes. Health no! here in the upper left room. And I died. Damn it. Oh, never mind. You still have like 10 seconds to go in. I oh, can't. never mind. I think you won't make it. I won't make it. Damn it. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Well, <clears throat> Oof. Rip. You died at the very last moment. Okay, who's the Yeah, player? that was so frustrating. Okay. This is gonna be a fun run then. You you're the bear, really? <laughs> Dynamites, baby! <laughs> I'll wait until everyone is uh, finished. That way, uh, I can make the announcements. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Auto guard. I should have just be then. Ah, I didn't believe. Frost. Dream? Let's go! Oh, come on. You, you did not just dodge me. Holy crap. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are you guys doing? Why? Why are there are two paps staring at me? <laughs> Dude, they buffed the bear. That you can't, you can't spawn dynamite anymore. Stop doing this, guys. They they removed that like in one point. I forgot when. One point three. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. <clears throat> oh what? To anti this somehow. Nice. More. Do not let the bear super grab you. You are just dead after that. Don't let it get... Try to beat it before it gets one stock. <laughs> one stock of magic. Because it's like, one stock of magic just fucking just obliterates. And like, two stocks is just dead. I yeah. think the... I think the... I think like, landing a level one gives it like a whole one stock. And then the stocks, like, you know, stocks re regen over time. Oh, I just noticed it! The stocks actually just 
regen even on like the ready go message yeah. the yeah thing, that, oh God. it's messed up <laughs> yeah I mean this character is messed up by design so yeah yeah oh. <laughs> arm super armor into freaking auto guard Fat sucks. Oh my god. Or is it like the bear's air normal is so good. Yeah, I mean, doesn't that have armor? I remember that having armor. No, it doesn't have armor, but it has a really large hitbox. Yeah, that's hard to challenge. It just traded with teleport C. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. <laughs> you guys should probably be running out of crystal boys this time. <laughs> oh, grab. Wow, my command dash got grabbed. Command grab the full things. Yes! <laughs> that is like the most unnecessary super I did, but whatever. <laughs> I nailed three people in the same door. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh wow, Frost is actually pressuring me. What the heck? ways to armor through shit. This is so good. <laughs> hey, Jive. <laughs> oh my god. Although technically Frost does, Frost did the most damage to me. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. <laughs> So it's just you and I'm Chuck. gonna I'm I'm gonna eat the Fred. You know what to do with Fred? We magic that <laughs> shit. I wanted the super. I So who won? <laughs> well, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Wow, like, I actually, like, by level 7, my salt count went from, like, 1-6 to 4,000. Because <laughs> of the, all the dynamite usage. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, uh, now that the salt mines run has ended, thanks everyone for joining. Before we, e before we go, though, I just want to make a couple of announcements. The first one being... That uh, tomorrow, well, it's gonna be like 6 a.m., 6 p.m. PST or something, or 5 p.m. 4 p.m. PST. Uh, EST. EST. 4 p.m. EST, which means it'll be four in the morning for us. Tail five in the morning, actually. Yeah, four or five in the morning for us. 
Tailnik and Suna will be uh, participating in the the last Magic Series tournament for 2020. So if you guys are interested, be sure to check out the stream there. The link should be in the announcement channel in the Discord server. Yep, the the Discord server actually has announcements coming from the official server, so there is a link to the Fighting Phonetics Twitch there, and that is where you can watch that. Again, it will be around 5 a.m. our time, 4 a.m. if you're GMT plus 7, I believe. Yeah. And last right, but so and last but not least, there's a, also another announcement because uh hold on. Banana soup this, pinned this, this the... an, banana soup pinned this in the announcement channel, but there's going to be a casual tournament on Monday, which will be uh, 8 p.m. for plus 8 GMT. Or 9 p.m. for plus 9 GMT. So, yeah, or 7 p.m. for plus 7. Well, we're around that range. So, yeah, be sure to check that out. The announcement is uh, right there. And apparently, if you just want to participate, you just got to react to that post in the announcements with uh, with your main hoof. So, yeah, just add your uh, stuff there if you want to participate. Yeah. Anyway, so... Any else? Anything else? Uh, I think that's it for now. Well, I actually... Oh, yeah? There's there's one more announcement I want to make. Because I've been kind of having this in my mind for a while now. I'm not sure when I want to do it. But I am thinking... I am considering ser setting up a community... Setting up a community effort uh, basic guide for the characters and, like, the channel. So... If you guys are interested in helping out, DM me because I do have. I'm going to be making more. I'm going to be setting up more details in the announcement channel, but I do plan to set up a community effort basic guides for the characters. But I'll see how That's it goes interesting. first. Yeah. yeah, like maybe you fix up with like the like the, the the basic stuff that you need. Okay. Otherwise, oh, that's, that it? Yeah, that's all the announcements on my end. If you have anything else to add... Uh, nope, I was actually just going to mention like that um, that tournament on Monday. So yeah, I think that's it, guys. We can close it out. Yep. I will be trying to set up another Free for Full Fights next week, next Saturday, 3 p.m. So be sure to look out for that in the announcement channel in the, in the Discord server. So without further ado, bye, everyone. Yeah, that, bye, everyone. Thanks so much for joining today.